Jumbo perch are coveted catches across the ice belt. And our next Fish Head lesson offers surefire strategies for reeling them in all winter long. Twisted up on me. Nice jumbo to start. That's what we're after today, right there. Jumbo perch. Man, I'll tell you, I think jumbo perch in the wintertime, some of the best eating you're ever going to get. And, and I'll tell you what, some of the best action you're ever going to get. Fun fishing. Fish like that, right there. There's tricks to catch them. I, you know, ultimately, what you got to understand about perch, and I'm sure we'll even get bigger ones today, but he's a good start. What you gotta understand about perch is they're curious. They're curious with their eyesight, they're curious with their lateral line, that sense of sound, sense of vibration. When it comes down to it, if you can appeal to those sensitivities, you can catch a lot more jumbo perch. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is just how to trigger perch. Because if you can figure out how to trigger them, I mean, it's, we've all seen it where you're sitting there and it's looker after looker after looker. But if you can figure out how to trigger them, you can catch a lot more of them. That's what we'll talk about today on Fish Head. This is uh, it's gonna be a fun show. Ooh, there's another one right there. I didn't even put the transducer in. I was just gonna lean over and get that done. And this thing got to the bottom and I just lifted it up and he smacked it. I don't think this one's quite as big, but oh, you know what? He's another good eater sized perch though. Look at that. We'll let him go though, because the way this is getting going. It's looking like we're going to catch a bunch of them. Let's get the transducer in the water this time. You know, I've always felt one of the best things about perch fishing is Perch are pretty willing participants all winter long, you know, from first ice all the way through the end of the year. It seems like you can catch perch and, you know, during the summer months, we don't get them a lot and it's because they're actually in the weeds. But as soon as you get into ice fishing and they slide out into this open water as soon as those weeds are gone, man, I'll tell you, you find out that perch are just eating nonstop. When I, when I say they're willing participants, it's because they're eating they're eating all the time, and, and I'll tell you what, that, that makes it a lot of fun. The other thing is, perch are predominantly a daytime deal. You know, this isn't a, this isn't a nighttime deal when you're perch fishing. It's, it's more during the day, and it fits those hours that a lot of us spend on the ice. There's one. Ooh, that feels like a good one. Yeah, it should be a good, good perch few of them started getting wound up here and part of it is what I've started doing is just jigging far more aggressively. I'm just really trying hard right now to get their attention because there's fish around. I'm seeing them come and go but I'm not getting all of them to bite and part of that is you're just waiting for the bite to turn on but the other part of that is getting the good biters into your vicinity because not all fish every day are going to be biters. There's just nothing you can do about that. There's going to be days and there's going to be fish that come through every single day that aren't biters. It's probably a, you know, a nine and a half, ten inch fish. We'll throw him in the pail. But you want to get attention, get the attention of those better fish and those biters. And, and one of the things I've started doing is I've really changed my cadence. And all of a sudden, as soon as I started getting far more aggressive with my jigging strokes, I seem to be getting the attention of more fish. Now, that might be the case that all of a sudden there's more of them here. I mean, look at that. I drop down and get a bit, get bit again right away. But I'll tell you what, just making a little bit more noise down there, that's a smaller fish, we'll let him go. 
but we're going to get right back down there because all of a sudden there's some fish that are active. Get out of here, buddy. All right. But all of a sudden here, just by banging that perch talker around a little bit more, getting a little bit more aggressive with it, hammering it, making more noise, maybe it's a little more flash, whole bunch of different factors go into this, but all of a sudden these fish, we've, we've gotten an active school to come in here and pay attention to this bait now. There he is, got him, look at that. That one feels good too. That just feels like another dynamite jumbo. That's awesome. This is the other thing that happens too. Ooh boy, I hope this is a perch. If it's a perch, it's a big one. Well, I think it is. You know, I'm looking down there, I can see pretty well. Oh yeah, it's a big perch. Wait till you see this one, holy smokes. Look at that. Wow, <laughs> that is an absolute monster perch. Holy smokes. Look at that fish. I'll tell you what, that fish has got to be 14. Look at that. That is just a giant. Holy smokes. That's that you don't get these every day. I mean, that that is just a monster perch. I'm gonna let that guy go because there's no reason to eat that fish. We're gonna let him go, especially being in this shallow water where I know he's gonna take off. That was cool. That's a trophy perch right there. Man. I'll tell you the other thing that I think, and, and, and it's perfect timing with that fish too, I catch a lot of big fish on perch talkers. And I think the reason I catch a lot of big fish on perch talkers is really, really simple. It's a big bait. And I think when it comes down to it, you know, you can catch your small fish on a perch talker and you can catch those fish because you're getting that bait away from the noise hanging down there on the dropper chain. But a big fish like that one we just caught and like, oh, that fish there, he's running around looking for some bigger baits to eat. And what we're offering him in this perch talker looks awful doggone big down there. When you look at the profile and how big and how, how deep that bait actually is. I mean, there's, there's just a lot for him to eat. And if you can offer a perch that much to eat, I'll tell you what, your biggest fish are gonna be interested in it. A lot of times if you're just offering them the tiniest of little stuff, your bigger fish just won't be as interested in it. That one there, I mean, man, he just came railing up. Here comes another one. We're just, we've just got a school on us now. Ooh, I missed that one. We have, we have brought a school in, we've got their attention and now we've turned them into biters. That's the key with perch fishing. That's what we've done. And we've done it with this bait because I haven't moved. We're just trying to get it, get the attention of fish that are roaming a flat. I haven't moved all day. I've sat, I've sat here, I've listened to the wind rip out there. A little bit different day today. It's not, it's not the kind of day that's really conducive to catching a ton of fish. And it's certainly not the kind of day that's conducive to wandering around outside with the wind ripping. But you can get their attention and you can turn them into biters like we're doing here just using noise and vibration. Sight, flash, all that stuff combined. I'll tell you what, you can, you can catch fish even on days where you don't feel like it's gonna be the easiest. There he is, got him that time. <laughs> Missed this fish once. <laughs> got him to bite that time though. Now it's tangled up that transducer, oh boy. Good perch too. See if he'll stay on there for us. Yeah, he did. I think he's a pretty decent fish too. Yeah, look at that. Man, that's awesome. What a great way to wrap up a fun day of perch fishing, man. I'll tell you, perch fishing to me is one of the funnest things you can go out and do. But you know, just make those make those adjustments we talked about today. Use a bait like this perch talker that's going to get their attention. Man, I'm all tangled up back here. I got all kinds of stuff going on. But get their attention with a bait like that perch talker. A little bit of noise, a little bit of flash. And you know, ultimately, work these different cadences, work up and down from the bottom, you know, a little higher, a little lower. Keep going back and forth and changing this stuff throughout the day and kind of paying attention to what the fish want. And I'll tell you what, you can fill a pail, you can get some big ones in the end. I'll tell you, they are 
a reliable fish. And that's the other thing I love about perch fishing is it doesn't matter if it's early in the year, late in the year, middle of the winter, perch for the most part are a pretty reliable fish. They'll bite for you pretty much day in and day out and they'll bite right through the middle of the day. And I think that's one of the coolest things about fish and perch. Get a kid out, go enjoy this, get after it, fill up a pail and enjoy that time on the ice. That's an awesome day right there.